What? I'm surprised I could do that. Hey, what's up, guys? It's McSpartan. And uh, the reason I said I'm surprised I could do that is uh, I have a legit excuse of why I did not upload this time. I was actually uh, grounded for a week, uh, Sunday to this last Sunday, and you may say, whoa, it's Wednesday. Well, I was also really sick. Like, I couldn't, I could barely even, uh, could barely even talk the past couple days. I didn't go to school yesterday, which was Tuesday. You see, my voice just cracked right there. I couldn't even, like, uh, like, I was in chorus. I tried going Monday, and it wasn't really bad. And in chorus, like, uh, you know how you go, like, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Well, uh, I could only get do, re before I could, like, not even make a sound. So it was pretty bad. But, uh, uh, I've been really wanting to do a video, but, and I'll, and I'll, t t before I start off what I was going to talk about my video, I'm going to tell you how I got grounded. Okay, this is probably the stupidest thing ever. I don't even care if my dad was listening to this listening to this but uh basically what happened was my brother was sitting down on the couch or actually he was laying down on the couch and my dad said come on bang get up and my brother was like why he's like come on bang get up it's that's lazy and i said yeah that's lazy and he grounded me for a week because i said that yeah so all i had was no xbox so i had to deal with just sitting on my computer and actually and uh doing homework and stuff but uh what I wanted to talk about today was, uh, actually I actually wrote it about probably when I was in the grounded period, uh, because usually when I don't write stuff down, I don't remember it. So, uh, and I've had one before, I was like, I knew I had something good to talk about, but I can't remember what it is. So uh, I wrote this one down, and uh, I titled it Questioning Morality, apparently. And uh, I actually talked about this in my English journal, too, because uh, I was out of things to say, and I have to write three pages a week, so... Uh, at a little, uh, and it seems somewhat intellectual, so I put that in there, you know. And, uh, before I start that, start off this gameplay, I, uh, I got a perfection. It's, I'm a little sloppy with, uh, my needle rifle and just Halo in general, because that was our first game back after a while. Me and Mason are in this game. Mason and I. And, uh, he really backs me up in this game, and I, uh, get a perfection. I go 28 and 0 and Elite Slayer Ridgeline, one of the new maps that came with the anniversary. So it was, that was, uh, I was pretty stoked about that. Stoked. <laughs> when I'm at a skater. Anyways, let's go. Um, what I wanted to talk about is, uh, morality and how I think, uh, like what, how I decide from what is right and wrong. I think that, uh, now you gotta hear me out for this I believe in standing up for what you think is right even if it goes over law and you gotta hear me through this you might think well so you're saying murder is right and I'm gonna like I personally don't think murder is right in pretty much a lot of circumstances like even like I mean a bunch of people say you're like yeah I could shoot someone and a lot of uninformed ignorant people are like yeah let's go shoot those towel heads like um, no, it's, it's not the, it's not like all of the Iraqis or all of the Afghanistans, Afghanistani people, whatever you call people from Afghanistan, I'm not really sure on that, Afghanistani, I'm gonna guess, and, uh, no, it's not them at all, it's not all of them, it's just the Al-Qaeda organization which is centered in the Middle East, and, like, uh, I have an Indian exchange student in my class and he's from India, he wears, he wears a uh, turban on his head do you want to kill him too no and most of those people probably don't actually won't actually kill people and uh because it's just like it's a thing like it's easier said than done kind of thing but uh the reason i say that is because like a lot of laws are uh hypocritical like uh murder is wrong you can even die or s you, but murder is so wrong you can get life in prison for killing another person but it's okay for them to, like, kill you for capital punishment. I'm not saying capital punishment is wrong. I think sometimes that actually helps out the world. But I wouldn't want to do it. And then, like, war killing is right. Like, just because our government says it's okay to kill these people, it's okay. Like, I don't see how that translates over. And uh, religion kind of does that, too. Religion and law. 
Like, why can you amend? Uh, that's that's one good thing that I like about the law, though, is you can amend laws to make it a normal time. But one thing about religion is you can't do that. Like, I hate that people just condemn uh, gays. I don't really see the problem in that. It's like Adam, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. It's like I don't really get your argument in that. Like, uh, you also say incest is wrong, but who do you think Eve fondled around with to get more children? Uh, her sons. It's like the world started out with two people, so I guess everyone's, everyone's pretty much having sex with family. Now, I get the argument for that. It's like the genes aren't, uh, diversified enough that it's more likely to get, uh, weird-looking babies like an extra toe or something. I get that. I'm just saying, like, you shouldn't condemn something just because the the Bible says so or the law says so. I think you should put some thought into it. Like, gays, like, I don't have a problem with gays. They can do what they want. But, like, people are just like, oh, gays, they're going to hell. Yep, no doubt about it. So you know that for a fact. Like, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a religious guy. I, like, I believe in God and the Bible and that. But, I mean, there's there's got to be some doubt in your mind that he doesn't exist because you don't know for a fact that he does exist because we haven't seen him it's just that's why religion's called faith because faith is just a blind blind following of something that you know that you don't know for it to be a fact so i think that's people should really be more open to things rather than just condemning it just because one person says so or one book says so or one law says so that's just stupid so uh, yeah and if you really think that it is right what you're doing say like i mean schizophrenic people uh there's been a lot of cases of schizophrenic people which is like people talking in your head have killed other people and they think that they're doing god's work by killing other people i mean that's what they truly believe in. I mean, we have to stop that otherwise, but that's what they truly believe in. And if you believe in something adamantly enough, you're willing to pay the consequences for whatever that is. And they're pretty much willing to die to carry out God's word, even though I'm pretty sure God's not talking to them. And uh, uh, one reason why you shouldn't blindly follow stuff like the law and religion, do you know who does that? The Nazis did that. They try to pull that excuse... And it's kind of like the army, too, but, like, I'm sure our army would stop it. Like, uh, they tried to pull the excuse when uh, people were putting up for the Muhlenberg trial, something like that, uh, for, like, all these Nazi war crimes of killing all these Jews. They were like, oh, we were just following orders. No, you can't You can't pull that crap. You have your own morals. You don't just do something. It's like, well, I would have died. Well, then you die. You don't go against your own morals just because someone else told you to or you're afraid of death. Stand up. Have some... Have some worth in your life and stand up for what's right. So uh, that's my that's my uh, commentary to you. Hope you guys gathered something from this. And I'll see you all next time.